Yo, what's cracking? It's your boy Timid. We're out at Sylvan Lake today. Hoping to catch my first walleye and pike on the water. Actually, I've never even caught a pike from shore, so my goal for today is to get out on the water, catch a walleye, catch a pike, and film it for you guys. I've been out probably two, three times now, if you're not counting uh, ice fishing on Sylvan Lake in my canoe. Skunked every single time. The first time we went, there was actually enough visibility to see like 10 feet down in the water. We could see walleye cruising through the shallows, but we just couldn't get them to bite. They turn on our lures, look at them, but never commit. So hopefully that changes today. I think I'm going to start off by just hitting those weed lines. Might as well. If the fish are here, then I don't have to work as hard. So yeah, I'm going to put you guys on the head. So yeah, I'm going to put you guys on the head mount and see you in a second. I start off tossing this frog. Water might be too choppy for a frog though today. I don't know. I'm gonna head to my original spot. Pretty sure we found it. I'm gonna drop this anchor. I'm gonna switch to the jig rod. We'll start off just lowering it down. There are white fish and perch in here, so five of diamonds, Len Thompson. Start off by just jigging it straight up and down as well. Got the big old jerk on and try and be a big old jerk to these fish here. Last cast with this guy. I decide to go with a bigger spoon. I don't know, I'm gonna try switching up spots. I actually try leaving it in there while we uh, paddle. See if we can't like troll it behind us kinda. I'm gonna try out this little crankbait. Talked to a guy on my way in who said, fishing's been slow today, but he managed to hook one pike on a little crankbait and actually snagged two um, whitefish somehow, which is really strange. At this point I'll take just breaking my skunk on silver. I can do better at shore from the marina than I can on the water. Got the jig back on. This time it's on this rod. There's a big fish. That's a big one. Oh, nice big walleye. Yes. Get in the net. Whoa, we did it. Oh my gosh, I don't believe it. Oh, first Sylvan Lake fish, not from shore. This walleye right here is like four trips in the making. Right in the top of the mouth, look at that. My first Sylvan Lake walleye. Look at those fins. That's what it's all about, guys. Three trips in the making, that walleye right there. My first Sylvan Lake walleye from the boat. Whoa! There you have it guys, proof that hard work does pay off. Been out here for three hours. If you combine all three trips, I've probably been out here for uh, damn near 10, 11. Finally felt him take it. He nibbled, nibbled, and I felt, I just knew he had it in there. Set the hook, oh, that was awesome. I had my drag cranked down all the way and he was pulling it, so. That was an awesome fight, really good fight for a walleye. Don't have much recording time left. Gonna fish till it runs out though. Might catch another one, might not, but either way, I made it all worth it right there. This is the end. Hope you guys enjoy another episode of Phase Timid Fishing. If I catch another one, see you in a minute. Peace. First walleye in the boat. See if we can't get another. Fish number two, we did it. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh yeah. My money's on another walleye, but this guy's fighting too good, I don't know. Oh, I saw a flash. Oh. oh yeah, it's another walleye. Oh, this is a nice one. Holy crap, does this look nice. <sighs> Guys, this might be my biggest walleye yet. 
Yes! What? Woo! What a freaking beauty. Look at that. Oh. Sylvan Lake walleye number two. Gonna get a measurement on my rod real quick here. Just a rough one. Let's get him in the water. He put up a good fight. Oh, he's gonna probably take a sec. Oh no, he's he's mad at me. Look at that. Oh yeah. Caught him on the little jig. Decided maybe that big one was a little bit too big. It was scaring some of them away. Put on this real tiny one eighth ounce jig. One eighth? One eighth ounce jig with a tiny little twister tail minnow. That's awesome guys. Walleye number two, freaking toad. Dude put up one of the best fights I've had from a walleye. Actually, no, I take that back. He, that was the hardest fighting walleye I've ever caught. I was sure it was a pike on its way up until I saw the white on its fins. That's awesome. Don't have much time to record. Like I said, I'm gonna get my rod back down there as fast as I can. Stop talking, see if I can't get another fish. I've been working my way up and down this little bay, trying to find them. Finally started getting consistent bites like basically right in the middle. What am I in right now? Like four feet of, or I'm in like 12 feet of water right now. I like to hit bottom, lower, reel my rod tip down so I know that if my rod tip's there, I'm on bottom. So now if I jig and I leave my tip about a foot and a half up, that's where my jig is underwater. I'm a foot and a half up off bottom right now. I can lower it down. Now I'm like right on bottom. Lift it back up. You can watch your line as it slowly pulls itself into the water. If it goes fast or if it jerks at all, you know that there's probably a fish. Most of the bites will happen right now. You lift it up, and then as soon as it straightens out, right now, the next five seconds are when you're gonna get the majority of your bites. You'll either feel a little tip, 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 and you usually don't wanna remove. The first little tip you feel, a little tap of a fish biting your lure, you just wanna wait. Wait, give them one more, two little bites, this isn't always the case. Sometimes you'll have a bite and there'll be weight on, the fish has already set himself. But the majority of the time I find you want to give him a little time to take it into his mouth. And then once you feel like a bite or two, kind of just start reeling down or pulling up until you feel some weight and then give it to him. That guy wasn't too, too long, that walleye, but he was freaking heavy and powerful. Like, he was solid muscle. He's gonna grow into a giant fish. Oh, that was a bite, see? on the way down. Fish number three. Do I need to tighten this? There we go. For some reason, every time I go to tighten my drag, I do the opposite and I loosen it first. Oh, those head shakes. You can see him in the water. Not sure what he is just yet. Oh, looks like a walleye. Another nice one. Oh. Frick, no. Oh my gosh, I failed so hard there. The net started slipping in the water, so I went to grab it and gave him a ton of slack. I'm so lucky he didn't come off. Oh my gosh. I don't deserve this fish, but I'll take him. Yes! Are you kidding me? Oh, walleye number three, almost the same size. Look at that, right in the corner of his mouth. That's awesome. I can't believe I was thinking about going home. About an hour ago, I was ready to give up. I'd had enough. I was tired of being, I was tired of jigging up and down and not getting anything. And now look at me, walleye number three. There's nothing better than figuring out a lake by yourself. This place has been nothing but trouble. And now it's giving me what I want and I'm so freaking happy. Downsize the jig head to an eighth ounce from a quarter. I think that's playing a huge role. The first fish we caught on the big one was small. The two fish we've caught on the tiny jig head have been big, so. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I'm pretty sure it does. Now that we got them figured out, let's see if we can't catch a few more. It's a Tuesday night, so there's not too many people out on Sylvan Lake. Come here on a weekend and it's gonna be a different story. Have a lot harder time fishing from a canoe, that's for sure.
was playing with my drag. Oh! Speaking of playing with my drag, this guy's playing with it too. Oh yeah. These deep cold fish, oh they're not tired from the summer heat. They fight like the ice just thawed. Oh yes. Come here. Oh this one looks nice too, are you kidding me? <laughs> This might be the biggest one yet. He's acting like it, that's for sure. Look at that, oh! It's not every day while I fight like this. Oh, freaking toad! What? Oh, yeah, this is the biggest one yet. Are you kidding me? Check this guy out. Right in the top of the mouth too. I thought I might have been a little slow on the hook set there because I was playing with my drag. This guy's got to weigh three, four pounds. Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> Another little chunk. Oh, they have giant bellies here. They're eating well. Get a spin up for you. That's so sick. This guy put up the best fight so far. There he goes, kicks off, splashes me in the face. Thanks for that. The bite's on now. I got out here about 5.30. It's 8.43 now, quarter to nine. And that's when the bite turned on, probably half an hour ago. And I've caught all these fish in the last like 15 minutes, no lie. It's kind of crazy how fast a day can change on you. If you would have talked to me about half an hour ago, I would have been a little upset, you know, frustrated. I couldn't find them. Like I said, this is the third time I've been out here. you think I'd be able to find them by now. If I got skunked again today, I don't know what I'd do. I don't know why I'm standing up now. I think I'm a little uh, humped. I'd still like to catch my first pike from here, but dude, I don't want to get greedy now. Jinx myself. Around bottom. There it is. Are you kidding me? We found bottom, and then all of a sudden there's a fish on. Oh, woo. Oh, did my twister tail fall off? Oh no, it's plucked it out of there. That's cool. This guy hit it as soon as it touched bottom. <laughs> he basically picked it up off the bottom for me. Ooh, look at those teeth. Damn, son, feisty. I love how I'm standing up to jig straight up and down. <laughs> That's how excited I am, I can't sit still. I wonder if those are walleye feeding on the surface then. Because I've seen fish jumping around me this whole time. Tried top waters, tried different things to hook into those guys, but wasn't successful. Like that hook sec? <coughs> oh yeah. I know where to find the hard fight in walleye now. I don't know if I can give him any crap about not fighting hard anymore. Oh yeah.
don't, you're not getting away from me. Oh, he's tangled. Nice. Scooped him. Scooped ya. There we go. Whew. Nice little fighter. Now that the sun's setting, these guys are coming out to play. I like it. Dang, these guys are messing up all my plastics. I don't have any left. Stop it. Got a little bit of my spit on there. If a walleye bites this, does that mean he uh, technically kissed me? I got freaking hammered so hard the line went slack. I'm surprised I hooked him, like I said. All of a sudden my line went completely slack and it took me like a good second to catch up to this guy, but he's still on here, he's hooked good. Drag's tightened down pretty hard too and he's still peeling some out, so. Oh yeah. Oh, I can see him. Walter White. Oh, big splash. Yeah. Whoa, shit, sorry about that. Give him a little uh, loving. Smacked him on the side of the canoe by accident. Whoops. Oh, this is a nice one. Inhaled the jig. We need those pliers. Oh wait, no, never mind. It came out. <laughs> I was like, it's so deep down there, I can't even see it. Oh, one of the best ones of today for sure. Didn't fight. Actually, he did fight pretty hard. It was locked down. That's why. Oh, that's awesome. Down to the depths. Well. Guess that means that it wasn't the color of the jig head that mattered as much as the the plastic. So that's awesome. Thought we lost the good spot too. I'm gonna mark this on my phone before we uh, before we float off this spot again. So this is the Bermuda Triangle right here. You guys want to come to Sylvan Lake? Follow Range Road 23 up and fish in that triangle. At least that's my experience so far. Gonna call it a day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I know I sure did. Feels good finally fi ugh. feels good finally figuring out Sylvan Lake. It's right next to me, probably 20, 25 minutes away from my house. And it's been tough not being able to catch a fish here. So now I got a spot for a walleye. Next time you guys see me on this lake, I'm gonna be trying to catch some pike. So that'll be fun. I'm gonna pack up, try and get home before the sun sets, make supper and uh, Start editing another video for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed another episode of Face Tim and Fishing. Peace. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about?